We're talking with Aji Berg about those fashionistas out there on the red carpet. And so next is Whoopi Goldberg, and I, I'm just going to be forward. It looks like a curtain on her. I don't like it. Right. I, I mean, don't like I it. don't, I hate to be mean, but that was not a good choice. It, like you said, it, it just, it has the resemblance of a curtain. You know, it doesn't, the fabric's not elegant. Mm -hmm. And the, I think the, the most difficult part of it for her was the way it's fitting around the chest. I don't know what she put underneath there, like a tube top or, mm -hmm. but it's not fitting her body just, correctly. It's, it's overwhelming. I've heard, I've just seen when there, she's been in such nicer looking outfits. So it's exactly. hard to, when they have been on the red carpet so much to then think, oh, this was not yeah. the best one. And it goes to show it's all about what fits on your body type. Mm -hmm. On what looks good. Okay, on to the next photo. Kelly Ripa. Um, I am not sure what she is wearing, but for me, Christy, this was such. I mean, I love. It's kind of just a miss for me. I mean, mm -hmm. I love that she kind of has that whole Marilyn Monroe thing going from the front, mm -hmm. and her hair is so blonde and so pretty. I loved it from the front, but then from the back, I don't get it. Look, look at those colors. It yeah. just feels like it's a different dress in the back. Right. I didn't love the back. It reminded me of like a margarina, like cha-cha girl or something. Not, right. Not my favorite. Again, no. seen her in so many other good things. Exactly. But this one was not my favorite. Yeah, disappointing. Okay. And Margot Roby, she is wearing Chanel Couture. I think she, she I, I mean, she is this. stunning. She could I wear love, a paper yes. bag, right? But how gorgeous is that? I loved that. I loved the how it has like the lacy kind of detail, but then it's so simple, but yet classy. Right. Just really elegant. And look at that purse. Isn't that pretty? Is that glass? Look, looks like glass. Oh my gosh. Chanel bag. Very, Very pretty. pretty. Mm -hmm. I liked that one. And then Selma Hayek is wearing custom made Gucci, which means Christy, they made it for her. Mm -hmm. And um, now that's a color one of the Pantone colors like we talked about, right. the pink lavender, a sh version of pink lavender. And she is just a knockout, but I mean, that is just for me too overwhelming on her, too much going on when she has such a great body and figure yeah. and it just... I felt like they could have done one or the other, either the rhinestones with just a plain dress or the dress with the sequins and not the rhinestones. I felt like they kind of clash against each other on her dress. Agreed. Yeah. Okay, on to our next photo. Okay, Gal Gadot, she is wearing um, Givenchy. And I think, of course, I think she's just chic, right? I what? liked this. It reminded me of like a flapper dress, but full length. Exactly. Again, the metal and shine that's mm -hmm. really in for spring and summer. And look at her shoes, everything. I love the necklace, the way it falls. Just chic. I liked it. Kind of elongates her too. Yes. Okay, so the next person we have up in our photos is, drum roll. <laughs> yes, that is Allison Janney, and she's wearing Reem Acra. And I think, we you mentioned this one time to mm -hmm. me before, I mean, for your age, I mean, she just looks stunning. I think she's gorgeous she's in this. She's gorgeous, right? I but look this. at how she picked, it's all about the silhouette, how flattering, not too much showing at the chest. And the shape is just great. I loved the lines it gave her on her neckline. And I just thought it made her look really good. Again, dressing to something that makes you look really good. Exactly. Very nice. Yes. Um, Timothy, I think his name is Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. And I'm not sure what he's wearing. Now this for me, I know it's like, you know, ultra stylish here, but I'm not sure what I think of that all white. What do you I, think? I'm not in love with it. I think it takes a, I don't know who this person is. I'm not familiar with him, but mm -hmm. I think it takes a different type of personality. I don't like the short pants with the boots. Right. <laughs> That's where I have the most trouble is right. the short pants with I the boots. I guess he's considered like Mr. Fashion, but I just don't, I don't know. I'm, I like, like Austin that. Power boots. <laughs> yes. I like the classic look. Yeah. I don't know. I like the, the bow ties, the black and the white, handsome. the crisp against each other. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think this is, the last one, possibly. Lupita Nyong'o, and, and she's wearing Versace. Mm -hmm. And I just, I mean, her skin is just gorgeous. Oh, Look at that close. gold yes. on her skin. I loved this on her. She really can't go wrong. And though. I liked the one shoulder. I thought that was really pretty. Very flattering. And, and her makeup was so pretty. I think she looks beautiful. One more that to go that we have <laughs> for you. 
One more, Eliza Gonzalez, and she is wearing Ralph Lauren. What color is this? Do you remember the name? I was quizzing I Isabella the other day. Oh, I don't remember the full name. Meadowlark. Metalark. The sunshine yellow, and I think that's very pretty. It I think suits it's, her. It's kind of simple, but she can pull it off. If anyone can pull off that bright yellow, I liked it with her dark hair. Exactly, with her dark hair and her skin. Very pretty in her figure. My favorite still, though, out of all of them was Nicole Kidman's. I thought that she just kind of resembled what the Oscars are about. It was so classy. Yeah. It was so beautiful. She was stunning. To me, she she stood out the most. I think so, too. I For me, I was torn between Jennifer Lawrence and Margot Robbie, but I'm going to go with Jennifer Lawrence. But those were all my top favorites. I did like Sandra Bullock's. Of course, there was a lot more people that we wish we could have shown, but yeah. at least you walked us through some of those different styles, showed us how they're incorporating those Pantone colors yes, on the red carpet. Thanks, Aji. All right, we have more to come here on North Dakota Today when we come back.